Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sims, it's me Raw Sims, this is part 22 of the Dallas Family Legacy Challenge thing. Um, so yes, it is a Saturday morning and we're picking up right where we left off last time. Um, and yeah, everybody's just doing their own thing. I've sent Anjali off to attend a charisma class because uh, uh, that's what she has the opportunity to do. And when she gets back, I'm going to have her just talk to some people that she knows to get that charisma up a little bit more. Maybe find her some romance since the guy that she was kind of romancing, he, uh, he aged up on her. So it just become creepy. And this, this kid refuses to leave her house. So there's that. Oh, and Aubrey, your free game is finally available for you to actually attend, so you should go do that. Now, Acacia is playing around. What happened to your rubies and, and junk? I could have sworn you had some. Or did you, were you always the one with all the emeralds and whatnot? Okay, we're going to give your sister this emerald. And you have no silver, a bunch of iron, some rubies and topazes. Iron, silver... Emerald. We should probably set them up the, the nice little money making area that I like to give Sims and challenges where they have like the smelty thing and the, the gem cutter thing and all that good stuff. But I don't know if I feel like doing that just this moment, but it's on the list of things to do. How about that? Okay, I'm tired of this kid. Oh, she's going to get some. I'm not going to make you not eat your breakfast to deal with this child, but. Somebody's going to tell this kid to leave. Yeah. You don't have to be set on. Tell this little boy to get out of our house. Oh, is he finally leaving? Has he at last decided, hey, I should go with the frick home? I've been out of my, away from my home for like 24 hours. Oh, no. He's going to go and lie on our, our lawn chair again. All right. So, stop doing that. Let's see, yeah, let, let's let Addison deal with him. Addison's, of course, very proper. So he realizes how inappropriate this is. He will introduce himself politely and then ask the child to leave our home. So politely introduce yourself to the child. Ask him to please leave our home. Thank you. Good job, Addison. Now, eat some food. What are you doing, Miss Missy? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to go play catch with your mama. That's so cute. Here's our maid who apparently never does anything. Look at this kitchen. Or dining room, actually. Look at this dining room maid. You clearly are not doing your job. Um, let's see. Oh. Avani's up here talking to Damien. What are they chatting about? Oh, wait. I'm not even on her. Oh, she's boasting about her gamer skills. Yeah, he probably does care quite a lot about that. Um, I would put them computers on their little desk uh, situation here, but then everybody would constantly be in their room making noise, and it would be really annoying. Though actually, it would probably just be Damien, who was obsessed with computers, because he's a computer whiz. Why did I get this? I think at one point he needed to learn martial arts for something, and so that was a thing that I had him do. I mean, I guess he could continue that. Yeah, no, why not? Um, what do you need for work? Oh, right. You need, you have a billion skills that you flipping need for work. Go paint, man. Actually, you should take a shower first because you stink. Cancel that. Have a nice little shower. Then you go paint your little heart out. Practice some chess. Get them skills up. And, oh yeah, you're off at your free game at last. You want to fill the pet bowl, sure. And what are you doing, Snowy? Oh, your social's a little low. Yeah, here. Have Acacia play with you. Um, have fun. Oh, Clara Irby, whoever that is, died. And Becca is sad about it. That is quite unfortunate. There we go, get that social lawn up. Since your mistress is not playing with you. She's busy chatting with her mama. And you want to work out until you're fatigued. Um, weren't you just working out? Local team triumphed. Yay. Aubrey school performance has increased. Um, you already have an A though, boy. What do you need to increase school performance for? These are some very overachieving children. But Dan, look who their mother is. <laughs> 
And I feel like Becca would not allow for anything but overachieving children. No one is current. No one is online. Literally, no human being is online playing a game that she can play with. Makes no sense. It's not what I want her to do, though. I want her to just work out. Do some cardio. Oh, no, your cat has betrayed you, um, Avani. She has decided that Acacia is her new best friend. Valerie would like to chat to Becca. Sure. He yeah, haven't talked to your buddy Valerie in a while. Oh my god, look at your meetings held and your relationship with your boss. You don't have a boss. That would be why. Oh, glitched careers. You're very annoying. And I don't know why she keeps having, like, random people who don't even live here in this town as her friggin' people and her job. And it took him forever to actually consistently have a partner. You really want a butler, don't you, Damien? No, sir, not now. You're not getting a butler. You're doing that. Oh, you're back. Aw, and you are pillow fighting with your sister, who you have no relationship with whatsoever. So, actually, yeah, let's just talk to her a lot so you can get your uh, charisma up as well. This is very cute, but you guys need to finish. I'm glad they didn't get, like, weirdly mad at each other. So, chat with her a bit. Um, ask her about her day. Ask her about her age like you don't know. Get to know her. She is athletic, enthused about exercise to her. Um, enthused about comic books. Um, gossip a little bit. You know how it is. No, I don't smartphone. And... High five her. And make a silly face at your sister who looks just friggin' like you. She looks quite a lot like you. Of course, they all have very strong facial features, so they all look a lot alike. Um, what are you doing? Did you break the tub? You broke the tub. Repair the tub, Avery. You broke it. You fixed it. That's how it works in this house, and you know it, boy. Uh, yes, you're eight, you're eight days, uh, younger than your sister, which we already knew. And the maid has done, did she actually clean up everything? Oh, she seems to have actually cleaned up things. What are you doing? You're going to go play with the cat. How about you don't do that? How about you instead put these leftovers away? Somebody, oh, the maid must have actually gotten the, uh, the laundry down off the line. And you can do the laundry, Bex. Okay, um... Addison, this is not proper, sir. You are you are faking it with your whole proper shtick because this is not really proper, is it? What is all this noise? Oh my god. Can we not? It's obscenely noisy for no reason. Okay, I am gonna grab them the gem cutter. So in the smelty thing. And I'm just going to stick them on the side of the house for now. I will eventually make a whole little area for them as they are very useful things to have. Um, so let's grab that and stick that there. And smelty business. Where are you? Here we go. And the smelty business thing. Here we go. All right. So, you stop playing in the sand, Mr. Proper Proper. So proper, you playing in the sandbox for children. And do that, and then smelt some metals. Yeah. And you also have metals to smelt and gems to cut. Um, let's cut that. And I'll cut. And you come smelt some metals. Oh, actually, no, you don't, because you're talking to your sister, who is getting her uh, her uh, stuff up here. Forget I said that. Uh, finish talking to your sister. You can do that later. Um, talk about your because you're neurotic. <laughs> and what are you gonna study? Why does everyone have studied together, even though they're not in college? 
Everyone do their homework. You did. That's his old homework. He hasn't been to school since he aged up. He also has this weird graveyard poster. Let's get rid of that. That's for 300 simoleons? Really? You're carrying around the football. And this is your old homework as well. You need to go find some silver. I should probably send you to do that if you finish talking to your sister. And you did, in fact, complete your homework because I made you. All right. All right. When will you be fatigued? Day 30 p.m. Okie doke. Did you do the laundry? Yeah, you did. Here, go mop this up while your son is dutifully fixing the tub. You doing this. And you, yep, smelt some more. Not smelt, cut. Yay! He fixed it. What a good son. Alright, you need to read your high school book, which I hope you're going to do. You are. Who are your friends? Who do you know? You know this lady, who is an adult, so... Did you hear that Becca Dallas has a social networking skill? She's your mother. Somehow I feel like you, you did know that. Jeremy Beam, you know him. You know Noelle Bliss Bates. And you know Chip Monahan Walker. We need to make you some friends. You are a very lovely boy. I don't know why you don't have more friends. Um, so we're going to have you call up. Let's send some texts first. Let's send some friendly texts to this little lady here. Send her a handful of texts. And uh, call her up and chat. You can stop reading your book. You don't need to read that right now. You have until Monday. You are playing chess. Avani just became strong. Um, Anjali, how was the fact that your favorite color is Spiceberry Gossip? I really don't think that counts. Chatting. Um, how about you tell a funny story? And you make a silly face. And you. Get to know her a little more. And you compliment her. And then have a little chat. There we go. You want to repair the bathtub that's already repaired. It's a little late, hon. It's a little late. Alright. You are still working out. Oh, look at her. What are you talking to your son about? Oh, wait. He's telling you about something. Oh, you're talking about the weather. How interesting. They have a excellent relationship here tell him a little joke tell him a little joke uh, ask him about his day give him a little hug and encourage him to improve his skills because that's what you want your children to do becca don't pretend that it's not they're already a bunch of overachievers and that is what you have instilled in them how are you two doing you are doing quite well, and her charisma is going right up there. After you finish this, actually, it's a little late to invite her over. We're going to invite. No, not her. Who was it we wanted to invite? You can invite over Bobby. It's invite over Bobby. Oh, this is the girl we tried to invite over before, who is now aged up also. Oh my god, they need more teens in this town. Everybody's aging up. Oh, excuse me, Bobby. Fine, then. Screw you. And you're just chatting it up with this lady. That's fine. But you're hungry, so you can eat. Let's give it all this cake you guys have laying around. Uh, use the toilet. You don't really need to take a shower. And you can go to bed. <laughs> Too bad, I said. Too bad. What are you doing? You're fine. Oh, you're up here. Oh, they're playing video games together. It's so cute. <laughs> Guys are having a good time. How are you doing? You're about to go read something. Don't go read something, though, honey. I want you to take a quick see if we have anything close. Because you still need silver for your friggin' thing. 
This is gem, so obviously it's not silver. Um, yeah, silver, here we go. Go grab this, my darling girl. Go grab that silver. Actually, since you can take cabs places now, since you're a teen, might as well go grab that gym, too. Hope she doesn't get, though, actually, she'll probably get arrested. <laughs> We're being out after Carrie but we're gonna risk it. We're gonna live dangerously. You wanna become best friends with your mama. That is extremely sweet. What are you doing, kitty? Just rolling around on this thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Get up, cat. You need to go and scratch that. Use your little box. Eat your food. Play with some stuff. I came to Dallas saw a deer for the first time. Really? It's the first time we saw a deer? What are you doing? You're baking a birthday cake. Um, it's not anyone's birthday, honey. Why are you baking a birthday cake? Because that's just what you want to eat. No wonder we always have birthday cake in this house. They never do anything but bake birthday cakes. You are taking a nice little bath. You deserve it. You're still playing some video games here. Who broke something? Who broke something? What did you break? I thought you were making a cake! What happened? You were making a cake! Okay, well, whatever. Uh, eat the birthday cake that's in the fridge then. And please turn your friggin' phone off. Okay, she just found some silver. I know she did. You have to go to the bathroom. Whose phone is it now? Is it yours? Go to the bathroom. I'm talking on your phone. No! Stop stalking him! God. Why do you have gold ingots? It's kind of weird. Do they need gold for the little thing? No. Well. Um... And now, this was not here like a second ago. What in the world? Okay, you have this stuff. You still need a piece of silver. Your sister has silver, but you don't. Those actually look very nice all in a row, and they're little different colors. Um, So you still need a piece of silver. We have to find you one of those. And you're not getting a part-time job. Avery's part-time job is already annoying enough. Um, Damien, why are you standing in the bathroom? Did you use the bathroom? Yes, you did. Go eat some food and go to bed. You're just wandering around being annoying. To your children. Where are you? Oh, you freaked yourself out by looking at monsters under someone's bed, but at least it wasn't your bed. So there's that. Go to bed. No, eat first. Why are you tormenting me, Damien? Have you gone to bed? Yes, you have. Though you're hungry, so frankly, get out of bed. Eat that last little morsel you still have from like your trip to Egypt like 10 billion years ago. But I'm not complaining. It's very convenient, you know. You lost a friend. Um, well, we should do something about that, probably. And, yeah. Love those red berry beans. Um, and you have this. Actually, he desperately needs this. Because he needs so many skills for his job. What's wrong with you? You lost a friend? Oh, you must have stopped being friends with Becca. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. Yeah, go to bed. What are you wearing? Um, excuse? Oh, Ronnie? There's literally no way in the world this is one of your outfits. Where did this come from? Can it please go back there? That needs to not exist anymore. <laughs> Remove outfit. Where is that? Where did it come from? Well, I hate it when they just randomly give them, like, weird outerwear. I bet that's what that is. Yep. Random weird outerwear the game gave her for no apparent reason. You're down here reading, but you need to go to bed. 
Oh, you're not friends with your dad anymore. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, yep. And you're in bed. Oh, wait, you're still, like, out in the world <laughs> looking for gems and crap. Come home, child. Come home. Happy hour. Were you at a bar? Okay, so I did not tell you to go to a bar. I don't know what you're doing. But that is not what I told you to do. But to get your little self home. And you were in bed. Yeah, everyone's in bed except for Acacia. And somebody has broken the sink. Perfect. Perfect. I will return in the morning, provided Acacia does not like get arrested or something. And then my game crashed. So, yeah, guys, this has basically been stuck frozen here for like a good five minutes or so, which means I'm probably going to have to uh, close it and restart. And I haven't saved. So I'm going to lose some more progress. So I'm going to have to play through all the way to Sunday at 2 a.m. Again, so I'm just going to end this part here because this is really, really annoying. Um, I will see you guys next time. Please, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.